Hello there, I'm Michael Forrester. In 1962, the incompatible Mr. Bob Dylan released a song poem called A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall. And in that piece of work, he uses the following lines. And what did you hear, my blue-eyed son? I heard 10,000 whispering and nobody listening. Heard the song of a poet who died in the gutter. I got to wondering about that poet and that song. And this poem is called Song from the Gutter. Well, I read every line that he'd written and I heard every word that he'd said and I took up his mantle from heaven and I sat at his keyboard and bled. I learned to work harder and faster, but the sentences spun round and round, and I just couldn't write like the master as my metaphors crashed to the ground. So I lived through a hundred more lifetimes, and I saw through a thousand more eyes. I've been dead and revived with no life signs, and I've learned to love what I despised. I've slept among dryads in forest, I've fred from the triads in fear. I've danced with the fairies, sung in the canaries. I've surfed on a moonbeam in tears. I've hastened the death of the firstborn with pestilence, locusts and frogs. I've been drunk on new wine, which was simply divine, and my body's been thrown to the dogs. I've stood on the shoulders of Bertram, a charter and seen past the maze. I found Franklin electric and Einstein eclectic, watched Hubble peer right through the haze. I gave ink to the scholar Muhammad. I was all out of step with Lao Tzu. I've dug graves with Confucius, accounted with Judas, made Shakespeare give Satan his dues. I taught Newton binomial theorem, sold Kerouac shit on the road. Through a curveball to Euclid, it's even reputed I played dice with Einstein and God. I peered in the halls of the Troll King, thought Johann's bark worse than his bite, and I did so aspire to see Elmo's fly. I took Hindenburg's very last flight. I'm the man who ate Vincent's potatoes. I told Sigmund to trust in his dreams, but from where he reclined, he simply declined while Ed silently munched on his screens. I protested at Chatterley's trial, lived in solitude one hundred years, but when Rushdie was cursed for the sake of a verse, I knelt in the gulag in tears. I taught Yan the basics of plumbing. I filled a few holes for the lad, but as Pi was a lie, I advised he apply his circumference over his rad. I've seen Steinbeck in dubious trouble. Me and Elliot, we're hollow men. But with Yeats coming second when history beckoned, I knew it was time to take pen. So now they declare me a master, and hang on each word that I utter. How they spurn men's renown for the sake of the song of the poet who died in the gutter. Thanks for listening. You can read more of my work if you'd like to at michaelforrester.co.uk. Bye for now.